here we are again, back to Burgundy we go, ho 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 oh, ho. Oh. Wait, where am I going with this? I don't know. But welcome back to Burgundy nonetheless here, we're continuing our playthrough as Burgundy in Victoria 2 Divergences of Darkness and we are in the middle of a great war, well, not really a great war technically speaking, but it is a great war in our sense against the evil Belgian Confederacy. The descendants of our colonists who landed here centuries ago and the ungrateful bastards built what I would presume would be called the Burgundy House since it's... where is... where is Washington in... in wait, Washington should be... it's somewhere here. It's somewhere here. I can't remember where Washington is. I'm sorry, Americans, I'm sorry. But in America they have the White House, but obviously since it was colonized by Burgundy, I'm presuming it would be the Burgundy House, right? And we burned it down. It seems a bit self-defeating to, as Burgundy, burn down to the Burgundian House or the Burgundy House. But we'll go with it. We'll rebuild it and we'll be a nicer shade of Burgundy. Because, I mean, Burgundy is a beautiful color. So, I think we will need to send over some more men. Because the Belgians, as evil as they may be, put up a decent fight and they still have spirit in them. They still have a fighting chance. They have... Well, they have about... Actually, I think we have about the same numbers. We have 30,000 on each. They have a bit more, but they have one less army. So I think overall we are... I think we have a bit more men, but it's not a big advantage. Not at all a big advantage. So we will need to send back the fleet to pick up some more men and then head back and uh, deliver said men. That seems fair. Wonderful. Maybe two more armies you'll do it. It's a bit of uh, an investment into the defeating the Belgian Confederacy. And do not fear, do not fear, I have heard your worries about feeding Plantagenia too much and that they might, may end up becoming a great power. And that is a valid concern, absolutely. But what you're not considering is that if Plantagenia somehow would become a great power, which it probably will, then we can simply side with, I don't know, Vinland to take out Plantagenia. And then when Vinland becomes a great power, we can side with the Belgian Confederacy to defeat Vinland. And when they become too strong, we can side with Plantagenia. And the cycle continues. We keep the balance. Divide et impera. I think uh, the saying is, even if I, my pronunciation of Latin is pretty awful, like divide and conquer. That will be our style. We learn from the British of an alternative history point of view when these islands ended up becoming the dominant power of the world. Simply, we divide and conquer the North American peninsula, I was going to say. And, uh, no, it will be a continent. The North American continent. We will rule through dividing it and conquering it. Slowly but surely. So how will we do this? Well, there's one army over here, the second army, under Hubert Seron, who is fairly strong. We need to take him a beating. He's going for our southern flank, and we will divert troops away, since they have the 8th army, which I'm a bit scared of at the moment. And Didier de Bocanet. Which we don't want to fight right now, but soon enough we will have to. So we will basically divide it up into having two armies that will go to the northern flank to try to take out the first army, and two armies that will try to take out the second army while we leave the eighth army. A bit of a leap there, considering here we have the first and second and an eighth. And then the eighth army then will simply be left to its own devices and hopefully be doing other things other than occupying our armies. And that is simply due to the reason that with these two armies we will have almost uh, twice as many men as they can feel in their respective armies and crush them utterly and they will be without two armies then and we will still have our feet. That sounds good to me. So let's continue on with our mission. The Armée de Lorraine and the 8th Army is now ready and in place. Let's hunt them down. This is 8th of January. We 18th for me. And we will catch up. We will catch up. It will be a battle in Britas. And it will hopefully be a smash victory and success. And it's turning out to be just that. So how's it going in the north? In the north uh, there's a lot happening and they still have another army yet. And that is not the same as we saw over here. So they have four armies, so they have a numerical superiority in North America. That is damn sure at the moment. And we can't expect any reinforcements for at least, you know, as long as it takes for this, these ships to go back and forth. So, a while. 
So what to do? What to do? Well, we will finish off this army. It's going to Colbert. So we'll take them out in Colbert and then head on up so we can completely dominate them. Over here, I'm hoping that they will separate a bit more so we can take them out one by one in our usual style. We need 100% war score in order to win this war. There we go. That's a smash victory. That's actually a bit too big of a victory. I'm feeling a bit bad about this victory. It's, um, I don't know, it's uh, not very gentlemanlike to win that that easily. I think we should uh, try our hand at colonizing over here while we are doing it. We could also colonize not anywhere else. So that would be the only place. Unless we have somewhere else to colonize. Maybe here, no? No, nothing here? Nothing here either? And the rest have probably been colonized. Scandinavia is showing their face over there, which is a bit of a douche move. Scandinavia is not allowed really to do anything. Here the Scandinavians have also taken charge and colonized things. These islands are untouched as of now. They need higher, higher technology in order to deal with the respective environments and climates. Yemen is also fairly inhospitable. As is parts of Oman, which is not surprising considering mostly desert, I'm assuming. It tends to be that way. And we have this army over here, and that is one strong army. That's 39,000 men. That's the first army being a bit reinforced as well. So maybe together we can do this. Uh, well, they are a bit too fast. Okay, let's do this then. Stand your ground, people. Oh, I never. They switch places. There we go. Stand your ground and. Occupy more territory. And these I've missed completely. It will be in 14th of March. We will catch up and then defeat them. So that's one army that's almost completely destroyed. Almost completely. And meanwhile we can take more territory over here. And we have now closed off from Vinland. To be fair though, they are at war with Vinland and... The war is going well for them against Vin Vinland, because Vinland sucks. It's the truth and you know it. Damn Vinland Vinlandese, you can't trust them. You can't trust them to do their job correctly. It's awful. There we go. Occupation here, done. And this army is just keep, it's just keep growing. It's not good. And it's also a fairly well-balanced army. To boot so maybe we will turn our attention more down to the coast to completely occupy that could be good I'm hoping for I'm hoping for peace between them and Vinland soon enough but Vinland wants desperately to get back Christiania which um, I'm unsure if um, the Belgians are willing to give up at least I wouldn't Train accident, that's horrible. Natural tragedy. Everyone wants to have safety con safety regulations. But that will that will make sure that our people won't make as much money. Our our law abiding, money gathering, generating capitalist. The most important part of our society. But anti pollution league is really strong and they want no bullshit. So maybe we should maybe we should appease them. Maybe we should appease them. Where is that pollution? There we go. A few standards. That sounds good. That will appease them, make people happy. And all that is wonderful. There. And their armies are mysteriously gone. They seem to be focusing over here. Plantagenia has gotten a fairly strong army. But, I mean, Plantagenia is 41 in, in rank. Which is fairly far away from becoming a great power, to be fair. The Belgian Confederacy is a lot stronger than that. And maybe maybe when we're done with the Belgian Confederacy, their industry will have completely disappeared and gone bankrupt. And it takes a long time to rebuild that with years upon years of unemployment. Which is uh, not so great for them. Oh, no, wonderful for us. Are they willing now to surrender? No. Absolutely not. It seems we have to go for a smash victory. Um, at the moment, I don't think we need to transfer over any more soldiers either. It's going so 
so damn well at the moment. We don't we don't really need it. You don't need the extra men. Maybe in the future when their army starts appearing again, but they seem to be focusing on their northern front first and taking over Vinland. Or maybe they, their leadership is going for a desperate hope that if they can defeat Vinland, they can focus entirely on us and drive us back. Or maybe they're just gearing up for a guerrilla campaign. Either or. Or both. These are all combinations of things that could happen. As well as the Illuminati taking over the world. Which, to be fair, will happen. Definitely. Do I plant a genia? No. We will not only go with that. We will make Plantagenia great. I would say again, but I don't think Plantagenia has ever been great, so technically speaking I would be lying that way. And I'm not too big of a fan of lying. So campaign for safe working conditions seems to be a fairly reasonable demand, honestly. And the people do really want to pass all of these social reforms, so I think we will indulge them. With all of that done, we could go for more industry, but our... Oh, look at his income. It's just insane. Can we do any more cuts? Well, we could... Uh, that's a bit too drastic of a cut. Maybe we should just lower our taxes to 45%. Which sounds really high. Incredibly high, in fact. I don't think we need any more. We have so much money. Maybe if we were going for... Like a record in gathering up the most money then it would be worth it, but this mod would probably be cheating then. So this army can go over here and we will head straight into the Great Lakes territory. And we can create this as a protectorate and this as a protectorate. Solidifying our hold on Burgundian Africa. This is so beautifully called. And then we can take Togo as well. A bit like Germany did in the past. Aragon has started colonizing. Maybe they should focus on them. The Heron Desert. And they are. They have to actually started colonizing a lot of it. Armenia is calling for aid against Georgia. Or actually they're attacking the Safavid Empire. That seems a bit of a dangerous move. Especially since maybe Russia will add into that. Maybe. Maybe. No. So it's Af Afsharid dynasty and the Safavid Empire. That they are fighting against. So I guess we are part of this war now. But how to get soldiers there? Now that's a bigger issue. Since Armenia is landlocked. And technically so is also Safavid. Well counter technically they, they do have a sea coast here against the Caspian Sea. But we can't exactly get ships now there can we? So we can't reach them. We have no way of reaching them. And since the only way to get military access is to have anyone in your sphere it seems a bit difficult we have no one in our sphere over there there's no way to get to Armenia no way to help them and after them if, like if Russia had joined then that would actually make it easier for us to get there Russia is currently in war with Scandinavia and seemingly murdering them Russia has grown into a great power perhaps they could also be our our bane the bane of our existence it's a possibility. I do wonder when we're we going to see their armies again, because it was a long time ago since we saw any Belgian armies at all. And they had a fairly sizable force, as you might remember from the beginning of this episode. A fairly extensive fighting force that could probably put up a fight if they had organized it a bit better. North Kurdistan? Yeah. Plantagenia? No. Still even more social reforms wants to be passed. Minimum wage movement. Sure, let's go for it. We have money. Might as well spend it on the people. Or, well, in some cases anyway. Crimea is still a thing. And the Commonwealth is technically still a thing. What is the... What, I forgot to look that. Uh, Nor Liberation of Northern Finland. Ah, that's gonna be sucky on the map. Like it was, for example, taking Estonia, Latvia, and well, Estonia, Latvia, then I could have accepted it. But losing Finland, that just makes the whole map look ugly. 
Maybe we should help Scandinavia. Maybe. Russia has become a great power. They have a lot of men that they can throw into the fray. Unfortunately, Armenia counted on our support a bit too much and we can't help them. There's no way. There's no way we can help them. Absolutely no way. I'm not even gonna try to get away, but it would be no way. And this will we'll definitely lose because we don't have probably enough time or care to do it. There we go. Togo is now a thing. So we can go for Dahomey. And, uh, well, that's really it. Dahomey. Dahomey. And Futa Jalon and stuff like that we can soon enough take over. We Maybe we should send an army over here and take these things over while we wait and while we fight the other war. Now that sounds like a thing that we can do. I'm up for those things. Scramble to Africa. We will start it or make preparations for it at any rate. Why waste time when we can do multiple things at the same time? Well, that would almost not be true if they had taken all the coast for us, but then we can also wa lay waste to the 7th army under Hubert Saron, who teleported magically to Africa. A very impressive feat. Incredibly impressive. And suddenly, Belgians. Belgians have appeared on the front against Belgium. It's a terrible day for everyone. England accepted a crisis offer from France. White peace, sure. Oh god, they actually have a fair amount of armies here. They outnumber us in, in terms of men. Unless I call in this army, that is. We'll just have to simply deal with it. We'll have to deal with having fewer men than them. They are starting to attack us though. Jaipur is going not so. Okay, they are attacking here in Lolby. Lofby, I mean. Maybe we should send aid. Yeah, definitely gonna need some help over here. Definitely. No, I'm pretty glad that they did attack. That is a terrible move from, from their side. Absolutely awful. Maybe with that we can weak, weaken their desire to fight. So we have one army coming up around here. Maybe we should make a strike with all of these three armies at the same time against Sega Chants. Ah, we lost our, a thing with Jaipur, which is a bit of a shame, but does it matter really? I mean, sure, they, they might hate us. They probably do. But do we care? Does it matter? No. A big victory for us. Absolutely stunning, in fact. They are sending aid the fastest they possibly can. It won't make a difference, though. It won't make a blind bit of difference. And then they attack over here in Lofby. And now we can attack there. Take out their other army. Which will simultaneously mean that the 12th army can cross the river of St. Lawrence, I believe it is, and get to B. Kjerna, which is a wonderful place. Absolutely brilliant place. And then we need to take out these guys before they spread the entire territory. It should be easy enough. They have no morale or anything at all. No supply, no organization, no anything. And I'm starting to get really annoyed that the Churao might take that place. Which is a bit of a shame. Sometimes you can't do anything about it. Also because it is so low on the list of priorities right now that it's almost a bit laughable. Wait, Africa it was? Yeah, way over here in Africa. Now we have two armies that are ready to head into the game. And we can at any point declare war on... Stuff like Futa Jalon for free to take over these territories. Not only will it be for free, people will celebrate us for doing so. Which is even better. And then we have the Mossi and Ashanti and, you know, the rest of the people. Make Burgundian Africa. To create it. Now people are campaigning for old age security. Which I guess is a noble cause, but I won't pay for that. No way in hell. No pensions for anyone. You can save up money while you work. Just don't rely on the state to give you money afterwards. God damn it. 
get your own finances straight. Uh, fi own personal finances straight. Thank you very much. Honestly, I'm... And this is going to be a real-life commentary on, on life. I'm a bit uh, surprised that basic finance and economy is not a mandatory subject like, I don't know, mother tongue, like, for example, English in, uh, in America or English in UK or, for example, Swedish in Sweden. And stuff like math. It should be, it should be a mandatory subject. Since there's a lot of people who fail at the most basic things, like don't even know how credit operates or how that works. Unfortunately, since I work in customer service, I have to take the brunt of the damage from stuff like that. Having to argue with old people about how credit works is not very fun, let me tell you that. But that is completely beside what we're doing right now and has nothing to do with it. So we will go for assembly line. Oh, it's actually steel railroad. We need that. It's a new thing. It's hot on the market right now. And, uh, well, frank quite frankly, I just want it. I just want it. When will Dahomey be done? It will be done in 1882. 928. Well, we are slowing. Like, time is moving so goddamn slow in, <laughs> in this playthrough. Also because a lot of things keep happening. But I want to hit that 1886 mark and then do, like, an overall... Overview? That's a bit redundant, but an overview of the world and what has happened in it and who are the great players of the world. Plantagenia wants an alliance with us now, which is a brilliant move from them, since we are trying to help them. And Albania wants to get our help in the war against North Macedonia. Sure, I guess. I mean, wh what the hell does it matter? Sure, we can help them. Just. Why are we so friendly towards everyone? Why are we helping everyone in their every single war that they end up in? And sending help everywhere? It's just... It's not feasible. I think I need some medication for it. We also have the issue of Armenia, our faithful little friend, being completely... Completely dead. Completely murdered. Oh, the home is ready. The home is... I'm glad you're part of my nation now. Now we just want Ashanti, and then we can have Futa Jalon and the Mossi Empire. After that, things will be wonderful. Just wonderful. There we go. And let's see. There. Eighth Army. It seems the remnants of the Belgian army has fled down here. Which is a bit of a surprise move. Aha, they're willing to give up on... That idea. Okay, but does that not mean that we can do our other point of... Plantagenia acquires all states with core provinces. They're not in our sphere at the moment. That's a bit... It's a bit bad. We can deal with it. We can create our own influence with them and add them manually to our sphere. Sure, but... We can... I, oh, I guess we will... I guess we will go for it. There we go. Plantadinia acquires all cores. Wonderful. Actually, horrible. Absolutely horrible. It would be good. It would be good if Vinland can take the rest now. If they can turn this around, which they already lost the war, by the way. But if they can turn it around and then retake those lands from the Belgian Confederacy, then we're in for greatness. Then we're in for a wonderful new North America. And North America I would be proud to call, not my own, but part of the same planet that I live on. would be proud to say that. Right now I'm not. We just need to retake that things and um, that will be good. So with the conclusion of the war against the Belgian Confederacy done and a complete smashing success to, well, Europe, I guess, and Burgundy itself over the damn Belgians, I think we will call it... I think we'll call that an episode. And next episode, beyond trying to help Albania with Macedonia here, which would probably be fairly easy, but then again, we have seem to have armies all over the place right now. We will also take over Futa Jalon, Ashanti, and Mossi Empire, and so forth, and have fun in Africa. Everyone has fun in Africa. And then we probably should do something about Leuven, Transkap, and Vriland over here. Despicable. 
creatures and maybe a Nuve Flander because yeah, why not? It sounds Dutch enough. And if it's Dutch, we should take it. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I look forward to see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. And uh, wait, I said have a good one. Have a good one. Thank you for watching and... Ah, oh, stay safe. Stay safe. Okay. Stay safe.